Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Git Good Guy, and it's taken me four months to unlock this weapon, the Annihilator Storm. Now, it's not because it's hard to unlock or anything like that. I simply didn't focus up on getting the five Welsh Blade kills in one game in order to get the sickle, so I could then get the required number of kills with that in order to get the Annihilator Storm. Got it? Basically, I was lazy. So, has it been worth the wait? Have I screwed myself by not rushing out to grab this thing? Well, let's talk about it. And it makes sense to begin by comparing it against the other variant of the Annihilator, the Trench. And the Storm does predictably have better basic recoil than the Trench, otherwise what would be the point? So yes, you do have better aim down sight capabilities with the Storm variant. If that's something you crave when using the Annihilator Trench then, well, here you go. But if you like the Annihilator Trench because of its fantastic hip fire and close quarters killing potential, then, well, basically why bother with the Storm? Its range and ADS benefits really aren't particularly huge if I'm honest, and the Annihilator is designed for that up-close spray and pray rushing style. Now it's not like the storm can't hip fire people down because it certainly can. In fact you'll see in the footage that hip firing was essentially the right thing to do most of the time. But it's just nowhere near as crazy from the hip as the trench. So the trench for me is designed better for what it's supposed to be used for. Plus the trench also has a far superior first shot spread multiplier so the storm isn't even a great option for ranged burst firing by comparison. And so in my eyes we're off to a bad start. And it's gonna get worse, because another relevant comparison is how the Annihilator Storm measures up against the M1919 SMG, which when it was released I basically saw as being another variant of the Annihilator. And we can start off with a positive, as the Storm does again have superior basic recoil, because the M1919 SMG has the same stats here as the Annihilator Trench. So great, a point for the Storm variant. But I did say things will get worse overall, so let's get into that, because the M1919 has far better recoil decrease first shot recoil multiplier and spread decrease. So the M1919 regains its accuracy far faster and although it has worse basic recoil, it's actually more viable for extended fire and longer burst fire than the Annihilator Storm. So in my opinion, the M1919 SMG is probably a better weapon overall. Now this will differ from user to user, but for most, the M1919 will win out. At close range, where this style of weapon should be used, the extra recoil of the M1919 is pretty unimportant. Its hip fire is the same as the Storm variant, and for slightly longer ranges, the M1919 will miss a little more to begin with, but then will ultimately be more accurate overall. And keep in mind they have the same time to kill over all ranges if they land the same amount of bullets, so for those outer ranges, where burst firing is probably needed, I'll go for the M1919 every time. And to really highlight why I'm unimpressed by the Annihilator Storm, let's compare it against the OG Automatico Storm. Although it doesn't kill quite as quickly as the Annihilator, it's got better recoil stats, which again makes this option somewhat better for range. And if you're using a Storm variant rather than a Trench, it's because you care about range and using ADS. And then ultimately, without the Annihilator Storm being the best variant for close quarters killing, and without it being the best variant for range or burst firing, it likely isn't going to be the go-to choice for many players. The king of the SMGs right now is the SMG-08, right? At least it's the most dominant one in a lot of people's minds. Also tying it up with the Hell Regal. So sure, the Annihilator Storm kills faster than that, but it's not the best option for that advantage. It doesn't make the most of it, and something like the SMG-08 has a huge amount more ammo. So basically, it wasn't worth the wait for me. I'm glad I didn't rush out to try to get this weapon. It's not like it's a bad weapon, it's just stats-wise and in terms of performance, it doesn't really hammer anything home like other variants can. For some, it could be great. It may well be the best variant for certain people, but when it comes down to objective stats, this certain certainly won't be the case for many players. The trench variant really nails what this weapon is good at, and if you want a little more versatility, the M1919 SMG is a better option for me. And so, what do you think? What's the best Annihilator variant in your opinion, and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, it would be great if you'd hit the like button for me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and turn on those notifications with the bell button so you don't miss future content. Now let's head over to the Board of Awesome for the epic people who support the channel on Patreon, that Patreon support allows me to do this full time, so thanks to everybody on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and my pinned comment, and with that all said, I'm Git Good Guy, and I'll see you next time, laters.